Hi there. I'm here to speak to you about the JVC GYHM100. Now I've been using this camera for the last number of months and I have to say it's become one of my favorite cameras that's on the market at the moment. Now it's a nice small package but it's incredibly capable. Records using the XD Cam EX codec, records up to 35 megabits a second, and the performance is really what counts, as well as the manageability. And this camera, it really gets full marks in both of those areas. Easy to manage, easy to operate, yet it gives you a lot of manual control, and the results are really good. So that's what really matters to me. Okay, I wanna give you a run through of this camera. So the purpose of this series of videos is to actually teach you what you need to know to actually get out there and shoot. I mean, it's one thing to go through the manual, the documentation which JVC give to you, and it's great, there's nothing wrong with it at all. But it's a lot to actually take in and work through. And with most of these technological devices, you don't need to know everything, you need to know enough. So that's the purpose of what I'm trying to show, what you really need to know about making this camera work for you. Okay, to begin with, there's a couple of things we've got to run through. First of all, let's look at the accessories. All right, you'll need some batteries. Obviously, you get a battery with the camera, but you probably want to buy a few more. So I've got two extra batteries here, in addition to the battery that's on the back of the camera. You have got an AV cable. You've got a component cable and a power cord which plugs into the charger. Now, separate to all that, there's, you can actually run the camera off a power supply, meaning plug it into the wall, and you can put this on top of the camera for the audio, which actually gives you professional XLR jacks. So that fits on top, tighten it up, and then there's a little bit over here which slides back and it just plugs in. So what this means is we now have professional XLR jacks, which means you're gonna get really good audio because XLRs, they don't tend to break, they're reliable, and it's what the whole professional industry uses. We rely on XLRs. So that brings me to another point, which is this camera can really be described as a professional camera. Don't be deceived by the small size. It is very capable. Mm -hmm. 